Hi, welcome to Advantage. I'm Dr. Jody Richardson Delgado. Today we're going to be talking about human development. Developmental psychology is the study of how humans grow, develop, and change throughout our lifespan. We want to know how this growth and change affects our behavior and mental process. There's some different research methods that we use in human development that you may not see in other areas of psychology. One is called cross-sectional research or a cross-sectional study. And this is a method of study where we look at individuals at a specific point in time at different ages. And then there's also longitudinal research or longitudinal studies. And this is where we take one group of individuals and we study them over time. And we look at them at different points in their lives. So a cross-sectional study would be maybe today I want to study the differences in reading ability qualitatively and quantitatively as children go through elementary school. So I study reading levels and I go into a first grade class and I give them a reading test. And then a little bit later in the day I go into a third grade class and I give them the same kind of uh, reading test. And then later in the day I go to a sixth grade class and I give them the same type of test. So cross-sectional research is done at one point in time with three different groups of children or three different groups of people. Now with longitudinal research, if I still wanted to study the quantitative and qualitative differences in reading, I might take Mrs. Smith's first grade class and gather all the names of those students and today go in and give them a reading test. Then when those students get into third grade, I might go and give them each an individual reading test. And then again, when they get into sixth grade, I go and I find those students and I give them another reading test. So this is looking at the same group of individuals over time, and I look at them in first, third, and sixth grade. And we can do this with lots of different ideas and studies. There's pros and cons to longitudinal and cross-sectional research. With cross-sectional research, some of the pros include fast results, right? I can get my results in a day, a week, just a short amount of time. Also, the dropout rate is pretty low compared to longitudinal research. I don't have to worry about over a year's time, first, third, and sixth grade people dropping out of my study. I'm doing my study in a day or two or a few days. There's also some cons to cross-sectional research. The internal validity is um, not as valid as longitudinal research. And what we're talking about with internal validity is there's a difference between groups that we choose from our population. So maybe in our first grade group of kids, there were some really advanced readers and in our third grade group of kids, they weren't as advanced as maybe the first graders had started out. So that could be causing some of the differences and that affects internal validity. Also, there's cohort effects and cohort effects tend to affect cross-sectional research more than longitudinal research. With cohort effects, we're talking about something that happened with a cohort of people that are going through time together that affects them. So maybe these first graders were exposed to some really advanced reading curriculum in kindergarten, and that's going to change the trajectory of their reading, and that can lead to cohort effects. With longitudinal research, some of the pros are internal validity. I'm studying the same group of people over a long period of time. So the internal validity is pretty high. Also, I'm getting an in-depth understanding of the qualitative and quantitative differences in reading. Some of the cons include external validity. If I only have one small group of people or one group of people, it's harder to generalize those results to the population. I also have a smaller group and those individuals might drop out over time. Between first and sixth grade, some of those students might drop out or go into different programs or change their reading ability. The results can take years to get and that's one of the cons as well. And the dropout rate for longitudinal research is pretty high considering that we have to go over that much time. Thank you for watching today. I hope this video has helped. Please click the Advantage logo to subscribe.